Hello witches and warlocks, welcome back to my channel and it's nice to see you again. So, it is that time of the month. Um, it has come round so quickly this time for me because the last time I did a video like this was roughly about two weeks ago and I posted it. Um, and the reason that it took me so long is it wasn't very well. So I had two weeks where I couldn't post this video, well not this video, but my last video about this subject and um, so I had to wait two weeks with um, this thing sitting on my table and not being able to do anything about it because I was so unwell I just couldn't do a video so it's only been two weeks for me since I last did this video so um, I'm so excited it's actually arrived the one I've been waiting for the most is the October Witch Casket Oh yes, I'm so excited for this one. I mean, I love Witch Casket and I've loved every box I've ever got. Um, I do believe this is my fourth box now, I want to say. Maybe my third? Yeah, I want to say third or fourth, I don't know. It's <laughs> I've had a few. I think this might be my third, actually. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the October one, which is the most exciting one for me. Um, because it's... Um, Halloween coming up very shortly and um, I love anything to do with Halloween, anything autumnal, anything autumn. Autumn is a great little season, it's why it's start when we start getting our jumpers on and um, the leaves start changing and, and everything starts uh, getting ready for winter and all the colours are so amazing and it's got all those those reds and oranges and browns and oh it's just so nice and you can start having nights in in front of the tv and having hot baths and yeah I, oh, it's just best time so this one is the october one and i'm so hoping that it has that autumn halloween feel so because i've not opened this yet it only arrived this morning and i couldn't wait any longer to do the video so um here we go, Witch Casket Unboxing of Autumn. So I'm gonna open it in front of you. I hope nothing falls out. I love this box, it's so cool. So here we go. Your first look at the box. It seems to be black and white by my looks of things, from what I can see on my camera. So there we go. The witch casket box inside, as you see, it's got all the witch basket, uh, witch casket stuff on top as well. Um, great theming of this box, I do love this box. So yeah, so this is what's inside. Um, it's got all their website stuff on the front, so if you want to, you can go onto witch casket and um, subscribe. They've got Twitter and Facebook, and that's their website. Um, it costs 27 pounds to the UK. Again, I'm not too sure how much it costs outside of the UK to Europe or to America, um, but it is slightly more. But this is £27 and that does include posting and packaging, so which is pretty good. So I'm going to put this down and uh, let's have a look to see what's inside, shall we? So this um, is the little thing you get there. Try not to look at the back because I don't like to see what's in the box from the little description at the back, the little description of what's in the box. But this is what you get and it tells you what the theme is. So it says, um, October's uh, Witch Casket is here and, um, forgive me, it's, uh, and there, no, there's no holding, um, hiding the fact, sorry, that uh, it's Halloween. Um, and we really hope you love the uh, vibe of this uh, casket. We had so much fun putting it together. So uh, yeah, so there you go. So it's actually themed around Halloween. And uh, I can never actually say this. We actually, uh, I wanna say, Sabin, Sabin? I know, I'm I'm terrible witch. I do not know my uh, seasons yet or my holidays, my uh, witchy holidays. I know some like Yol and, uh, and, and stuff like that and Mayborn and stuff, 
I know a couple, I uh, just not haven't gone through them all. But hopefully this one might give me an insight to this holiday. So uh, yeah, so that's what I'm not going to look in. Uh, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to look to see what's inside because I like to be surprised. And first thing off the bat um, is this little uh, card. And of course, it's by Tea Cake Art. And isn't that amazing? Look, with a moon in the background, some clouds there with a broomstick, obviously. Broomsticks are very well known around this time of year. Um, in the uh, non-witchy world, you know, it's Halloween, everyone dresses up as ghosts, goblins, you know, All Hallows, he all, all Hallows Eve, I can't talk right now. And um, so basically everyone dresses up, it's the time when, you know, the magical world meets the uh, normal realm. So everyone gets involved. Um, and obviously the pumpkin there, which is amazing. I love how they do that one pop of colour over the black and white. Uh, yeah, it's so nice. Oh, it's probably actually I've got to say they are really nice. These these cards um, from Tea Cake Art. This has got to be my favourite so far. I must admit, um, out of all the ones I've had. So yeah, so this this is a lovely little frame. I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see. I mean, look at that. This is the uh, season of the witch, really, for us. You know, everyone everyone in the witchy world loves Halloween. I say everyone, I can't speak for everyone, but I love it. And it looks like we actually have another one as well, but this one isn't by Tea Cake Art. This one is by... Um, can't read that. Hmm, it's a bit hard to... Mm. I can't pronounce that at all. I'm so sorry, but I'll bring it close to the camera. So if you know how to say it, I don't. But look at that. Isn't that lovely? That reminds me very much of um, Jack Skeleton from the Disney movie Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, yeah, that is, that's just stunning, isn't it, really? That's really cool. I like that. So yeah, so I do apologise that there they've got a website that you can go to, hashtag. But I really can't read that at all. It's really hard to see. I think it might be the lighting in here as well. I think that might be must relaxy. Must re must relaxy. I don't know. I don't know if it's an M or not. I can't really see. But yeah. How oh, nice too in this box. It's it's slightly smaller than the TK Art um, picture, only slightly though. Um, again, we have another little sticker. I got my first one, I think. Um, last box, yeah, it was my last box. But this one, yeah, it seems to be coming up very reflective. You can actually see my camera in it. But look at that, yeah, which casket. Another little uh, sticker to add to my collection. Okay, now, uh, ah, so every single box you get, if you're watching me for the first time or you're watching this for the first time, you don't know what's coming. Um, every witch casket you get, you get like a spell kit or some sort of um, thing you can use on your altar or some somewhere or another, it's some sort of uh, magical kit. And uh, this one, is the Empowerment Elixir Kit. Empowerment Elixir Kit. So this says includes everything you need to create your own magical empower, empowering potion slash elixir. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I've always wanted to get into herbs, potions, and oils, elixirs. I'm really into that sort of stuff now. Um, it's always been something really fascinating for me. Um, so we'll have a look at that later and see what's inside. Um, oh, it's, it's, we've got so much stuff in here. Okay, let's go. Every witch casket I've had so far um, and everything, everyone I've seen unboxed um, before I got the casket myself. 
had a badge, a pin badge. And last month's one was really nice. It was like a quartz crystal type thing. Um, so this one is, <laughs> we, I use this phrase quite a lot and um, not this actual phrase, but something very similar, which I won't say online. But who out there in the witchy world ever has a resting witch face? <laughs> a resting witch face, yes. I'm sure you can guess if you change out the letters in the word witch for something else. You might know what this is, but I know a lot of people that have a resting face. Um, but yeah, a resting witch face. I quite like that. It's funny. Uh, I, I'd actually probably wear that. Um, <laughs> I tend to um, have the other ones in a little box and I haven't put them up yet because I want to get a pin board for them. Um, but yeah, this one I'd actually probably wear. That's quite funny. So uh, yeah, it's a nice little an enameled, enamel badge pin badge and it's just got one of those on the back there all oh, this box is starting to smell amazing so yeah that's a, a lovely little pin right what's next in this little collection there is actually looks like there's loads in here this this month so the next thing is this which casket um empowerment crystal set now that's exciting. All right. I'm not a very empowered person. I'm very, um, I'm very much the sort of person that um, is very like quite laid back. I'm not the sort of person that is like a get up and fight the world sort of person. I'm not. I'm, I'm not very empowered. Um, I just. I'm one of these people sit back and hope that I'm not noticed. Um, and this is weird because in my job that I do, um, I have to be noticed and I have to be out there. And in, but on when it comes to my normal life and my, and my everyday life, I'm one of these people. I just like to be in the background and not really be noticed. Um, but in work, I have to be, which is quite weird. So this is a crystal empowerment. Ooh. Breaking stuff. It's my glass table. Um, okay, so it comes in this little baggie, which again I can reuse or can keep these crystals in there. Um, so there's five crystals in here or five stones. Again, I don't know what they are. Hopefully, they might say on the little thing but look at that one now you might know what that is but i'm not sure it's lovely though it's a nice little pattern on there um maybe it reminds me of a jelly bean and then we got this one now i've seen this one before but again i can't entirely tell you what i think it might be called it's a bit hard to see because not really, there you go. I'm not used to this whole holding things YouTube style. Um, yeah, so it's a little like light, very light green. And we got this one. So that's a uh, that crystal there. This one's very uh, interesting. Again, I don't know what these are. I do apologise. I haven't really studied my crystals that well, so I can't tell you straight off the bat what they are. But some of you out there may know, some of you may not. Now this one is gorgeous. Look at that. It's like an amber colour. Almost, I want to say this is a tiger's eye, but it does look a bit like a tiger, but I don't know. I can't be 100% sure. If I'm right, then I'll be surprised. But it sort of changes colour with the light. Like, looks dark, but then suddenly it goes into this like, amber colour. So it might be amber. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, so I do apologise. Um, so, yeah. So, there are the five... 
And then as you can see on camera, there we go. Five empowerment crystals. Um, so let's put them back in the little baggie. Oh, ah, there we go. Look at me. I should have read the tag. So, me being stupid. So, um, we've got, again, I couldn't tell you what, I'll show you the back of the card. That's what it says on the back, so you can have a little read. So I'm going to slaughter the names of these right now. So we've got a multi-banded agate, ag agate, agate, agate. And it's for protection um, against insomnia, 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 and bad dreams um, and grounding. Then we've got a silver leaf jasper. Um, balance, grounding, stability, and willpower. A leopard skin jasper. Ah, oh, right, so that must have been the orangey one, the leopard skin. Um, change, forgiveness, insecurity, anger management. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's quite a good one, considering what I'm like at the moment. Um, green... Uh, green aventurine, event, event, aventurine. Aventurine. I want to say aventurine, but I could be wrong. Success, good fortune, pros prosper prosperity, and independence. Well, that's me anyway. Apart from the prosperity, I'm not really loaded. <laughs> Um, and then a tiger's eye. Oh, so there must be a sil the um, leopard skin jasper must be something else because I think that last one was a tiger's eye, and it's for confident, charisma, power, and in integrity. Ah, oh. very nice too. So I find a place for those wherever that may be. I don't know. Um. Okay, so we've got another little baggie. Wow. We've got another little baggie. Um, exactly the same. Uh, what I love about this is that they always find a way recently to make sure that all the um, that all the products that come in there are environmentally friendly and reusable, or when they are chucked away, they can be recycled. So, um, so this, this is... A Pentacle altar tile. So let's have a look. It's got nothing on the back of this one this time, but I'm assuming that might be a slight picture of what we're about to get. So let's open this up. There we go. A little tile for your altar. Not bad at all. I mean, it's not huge. Um, but that's okay because my altar isn't the biggest. Um, but yeah, it might be nice. I've actually got an altar tile. Um, well, it actually isn't an altar tile, but um, it's one I sort of made into one. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is quite nice. I like this. Um, I mean, you could use it for anything. You don't have to necessarily use it as an like a, a centerpiece on your altar. You could do. I think I might use this actually as almost a coaster, but still on my altar. So I have a, a chalice, obviously, a, um, a on my altar. So it's um, a glass chalice. It's quite nice, and um, yeah, I might put this on top of it, uh, like put the chalice on top of it, like almost like a coaster in a way, but still symbolising the pentagram the pentacle so that's quite nice i like that and it's um it's quite a hefty weight to it so i'm assuming it's slate black slate so because it feels that way that's really nice i that's the first time um that i've had a an actual official altar plate because i've i've always looked for one but um i've never found one i like 
Um, so yeah, so but that's quite nice. Nice little small one, um, I can add. Okay, and the next thing in the box, there's so much, so much stuff in this month's box. Um, we have our tea, and uh, they have a tea, a loose tea in every box last time. We got a um, an African blue tea, I think it was. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried that one yet because I haven't got around to having it yet. But um, this I think is really cool because this is a pumpkin spiced tea and it's orange. <laughs> so against the black, it looks amazing, obviously. Um, so yeah, so this is a pumpkin spice tea. Um, ingredients are black tea, apple, orange, um, rose, nip, rose hip, rose hip pieces, hibiscus, calomile, sunflower petals, cinnamon, natural flavoured, organic segments okay i'm assuming there must be like a pumpkin in there somewhere <laughs> as it's a pumpkin spice tea but there we go that's you can have a little read of that if you want to the camera's not focusing i don't know why but yeah so that's a pumpkin spice tea we get one in everything and if i have a little taste i will let you know next time what it was like um god there's loads in here so we got this next little thing oh it's magnetized so is this it's an incense burner <laughs> i do this every time i just bought a cone incense burner and um yeah Lo and behold, we get an incense burner the month after. I should just trust which casket and know that they just know what I need. So, yeah, so it's a little black incense burner and it's magnetized. How cool is that? So, it's magnetized the lid. So, yeah, I'm assuming it's an incense burner. I can't imagine what else it would be. Um, so, yeah. Nice little black one there. There is so much, there's still loads in here. Um, so this next thing. Because oh. <laughs> it's Halloween, obviously, and it's the time of trick or treating. They've sent us this. <clears throat> it's um, a chocolate bar, um, and it's vegan Belgian chocolate, vegan as well which is handy because I'm a vegetarian. Um, and vegan, I love vegan stuff, actually. They've got some really good vegan stuff out. Um, so yeah, so a vegan chocolate bar. It's dark chocolate. Um, so yeah. Nice. Trick or treat. <laughs> Thank you, witch casket. Um, very nice. Right. God, I've still, still stuff in here, by the way. Still more stuff. So then we've got this, spell candles, black spell candles they look like, yeah I do believe they are black ones, we had navy blue ones last, yeah they are, I'm ripping the box, I was going to open the box and have a look at one, so they're black spell candles, and for those who don't know I said in a post before my first witch casket, I do believe, um, that spell candles, they look smaller, and a lot of people say, oh my God, they're really small. Um, people that do the unboxings and aren't really in the witchy world, they're more the goth side of things. I, I, look, I watch a lot of goth unboxings, and um, not that I'm a goth, but I used to be slightly when I was a kid. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is uh, black candles and the spell candles. And the reason they're spell candles is because they only take about an hour 
to um, burn down. Um, so it saves on having to wait and wait and wait. And because obviously it's always safe. If you're gonna use candles, don't leave them unattended, please don't, because it's just bad. Um, so yeah, so these are made so they burn down with roughly within an hour. So when you do a spell, it's only an hour's wait before they burn down and the spell's done. So spell candles, they're really cool. Um, and in every uh, witch casket I've had so far, we get incense. And this is the incense with a lovely black and orange theme. And this is um, in every single language. Um, wizard spell insect incense sticks. It says it in so many different languages, which is I think is quite cool. Um, yeah, 15 sticks you get inside. Mm. And they have quite a... They've got like a soapy smell, but... With like a spicy after smell as well. Like mix with... There's like some sort of sm spiciness to it. So I'm thinking there might be like an... Maybe a pumpkin smell, or it's definitely, it's not cinnamon. It's something a little bit more spicier than that. So, um, um, I don't know. It has got any, it's got ingredients, I think. I can't really see because the writing is so small. But yeah, you can never have enough incense. I've got so much of this stuff now, and uh, I, I keep buying it. Um, I haven't even used the stuff like the incense that I like I got from my, like the cones. I haven't even used those yet. So I'm going to be overloaded with incense, which is always a good thing. Okay. And, ooh, and it keeps coming. And this next thing we've got is um, Frog's Breath. It's a little, a little bottle, a little witchy bottle. I say little, it's quite big. Um, big enough so I'm assuming and don't hold, hold this against me that maybe that this could be used for the spell kit maybe I don't know and um, we'll find out I guess but no I, I just actually um, I like to recycle so I got a bottle um, that I was using for something else that we, like came with the product in it and um, and rather than chuck it away, it was quite nice. It came with like a, a reusable cork top. Um, I won't tell you what it was because, <laughs> um, but no, it was a, a, a nice little bottle and it was, um, and I kept it and I cleaned it and it's now uh, waiting for me to use. So it's quite nice. I've now got a second. So yeah, very nice. Just like that. So little witch bottle and I thought that might have almost been the last thing but no because now we got this little baggie as well with a key ring by the looks of things you have yes so on one side I don't know if you can see it's glariness it's rocking all over the place there we go. Um, it's a cat in a hat. And on the other side, it says Hocus Pocus. Great movie. Actually, I need to watch that again. Hocus Pocus. I do believe it's maybe on Netflix. I don't know. Maybe. But I will uh, I will have a look for that one. Um, but Hocus Pocus, yeah, a little key ring. It's white with a cat in a hat. Um, and Hocus Pocus on the other side. So that'll be going on my keys. Um, I have a ton of key rings on my keys. And then last but not least, of course, we always have this, a little scroll. And it's got a orange sticker on it this time. And I always say these for my Book of Shadows. Um, and they always have like some sort of either way of meditation or 
you know, some sort of ritual we can do, sometimes using spells, um, but it's always sort of something you can put into your book of shadows. And uh, I always struggle with these little stickers. I try not to rip. And this actually might be the first time I haven't ripped it. Oh my God. So this has got witchy tips. So tips for a witch. Um, so yeah, just like that. I won't read it because um, it's got loads on there. Take me forever. And of course, I don't want to give it away because if you want to find out what you get in a witch casket on these little scrolls, you're going to have to get one. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but no, if you want to have a little read, by all means, go ahead, stop the video, have a little look. Um, but like I said, like if you want to get a witch casket, I would hurry very quickly. I subscribe, so thankfully I get put on a list so that if, um, obviously when the next one comes out, my name's already on the list, so it automatically gets it for me because I'm subscribed um, which is I think always a good thing because they run out I think two months in a row I haven't I don't think I saw this month whether they did or not I, I think they may have done it's quite popular um, but yeah they tend to their subscription is so popular that it runs out really quickly um, so you have to get your subscription in as soon as um, and I would Probably, I think it's by every, on, on the 15th of every month or the 14th, they start the next subscription. It's whenever they ship out the next, the box of, for that month. That's when they start taking it for the month following. So October is the one we've got now. So they, the day that they ship this, you could then start getting your um, November box, which I'm quite excited about. Uh, I'm wondering what that will be. Um, so yeah, so we had our Empowerment Elixir Kit. So let's open that up. Unfortunately, can't really be that uh, delicate with this one, but it doesn't matter because these bags are recyclable and you can put them in the bin, it's fine. So the first thing we've got is a little card so it's an empowerment elixir. So it's got that on the front. I mean, even these cards are quite cool. I mean, it's so, so Halloween-y right now. So it tells you what's inside. Okay, it tells you what to do. To do the spell there. So that little card. In there and inside is herbs and these are in recyclable recyclable bags as you can see so they are recycle friendly so there's three different herbs in here and let's find out if I can decipher what they are so let's have a look So we've got so look, so we've got basil. So I'm assuming that is basil. Looks like basil to me. Food basil, basil, whatever you want to call it. Um, then we have pomit. Pommy, I can never say this. Pomegranate, po pomegranate peel, which I'm assuming is this one. So I'm do it. <laughs> I can never say that word. And then, last but not least, is meadow. I don't know, 
Meadow Sweet. I think it's Meadow Sweet. Meadow Sweet, I'm going to say, because that looks like a T on the end of there. So, yeah, Meadow Sweet, whatever that is. Three different herbs. Tells you how to put them all together to make an elixir. And then I suppose you can put it in any little bottle you wish. And I will have a good old read of that. And uh, I always, what I tend to do is put my herbs in bottles. So I have little bottles um, or little jars, glass jars. Um, it's always best to use glass because um, it's a natural product. It's a natural, um, obviously, because it's sand that's been heated up to make glass. And obviously metal, which comes from the ground, it's a, um, a natural product. Um, I don't tend to like to use plastic because um, it's just not very nice in the witchy world. I like to I like to have everything a natural, naturally used. So all the stuff around my house is either glass, wood, or metal. I, mean, I don't particularly like to use metals, but I, you know, you can't go through life without them, really. I mean, you could, um, because they have done, but, um, yeah, you can't really go nowadays without metal in your life. But you can go without plastics as much as possible. So, yeah, so that's your little spell kit. That's the first thing. we got a little scroll, like so. Um, we got our incense. Our key ring, spell candles, the little extra, thank you witch casket, trick or treat, chocolate, you got your spiced pumpkin tea, we got our pentacle altar tile, wow, we got the Empowerment Crystal Set. I mean, that alone is just worth this box, really. I mean, it's there's just loads. I don't know how they do it. But uh, we got what I do assume is a incense burner. We'll have a look in a second on our little list. The pin badge. I know it keeps coming, right? The Witch Casket. A sticker, the bottle, and I should have put the bottle in first because I can't get everything back in the box. Um, we then have our second art piece, which unfortunately, sorry, I don't know the name. I will learn it and let you know, and I'm sure you'll see another unboxing and they'll probably be able to read it. And then last but not least, our uh, tea cake art print, which is stunning. So let's have a look and see how correct I was. So um, we got the Witch Casket, uh, sorry, Witch Casket Exclusive Potion Bottle. Yep. Um, the Slate, I was right, Slate Altar Tile. The Empowerment Crystal Set, yep, we got that. Em um, Empowerment Elixir Kit, yep, we got that too. Um, the Resting Witch Face Badge, I love that. Um, the Pin Badge, yep, we got that. The Hocus Pocus Key Ring, we got that too. Um, the Witchy Tips Parchment Scroll, we got that too. Great for my um, Book of Shadows. Um, a vegan trick or treat chocolate bar. Yep, yeah, we got that as well. Uh, oh, it's a black wooden altar box. Okay. If you know what it is, I assumed it was for incense, but it's an altar, a black wooden altar box. I'm unsure. I assumed it was like a incense burner of some sort, but. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in this, um, the, in the comment below. Um, so yeah, if you send me a little message, let me know what it actually is. If you know more than I do uh, about what it is, because an 
a black wooden altar box. I'm still confused. So um, we got our loose tea, which is pumpkin spice by Tea Cakes of York. Tea Cakes of York. Yes, York. Um, Wizard spell incense sticks. Yep, we got those. Pack of six spell candles. Oh my God, there's so much in this box. I think this is the most we've ever had in this box. I seriously, I say this every month, but seriously, I swear there's more and more and more in there. Um, so this pack of six spell candles, black ones. Yep, we got those. The A6 art prints by Tea Cake Art. Yep, we got that. And the, oh, it was A6 as well. They are the same size. They just didn't look the same size. They are. Um, uh, again, can't read that at all. I do apologise if um, about the art print. It's a stunning art print, and it's a shame I can't read the actual name of the company that make it. But hopefully, you'll be able to see it and find out for yourself. And hopefully I will as well. I will always watch everyone's unboxings of the Witch, Witch Casket. I've got so many people that I watch doing this. Um, so hopefully one of those will be a little bit more intelligent than I am. And can read a lot better than I am. I'm terrible with cold reading anyway. But I really can't see that. with my Even with my glasses on. It's hard to tell that what letters that are. But I might look it up myself and see if I can find it. Um... So, yeah, that is our Witch Casket box for October. Oh, my God, how much was in this box? I mean, seriously. I mean, that it was just, that's just ridiculously loaded to the brim. Um, I've got to say, I love this subscription. I, I was... I'm in an R in a what sort of subscription I wanted. I've always wanted to go for, you know, the, the, the big American ones. But the idea of paying, you know, up to 30, 40 pounds. I mean, one of them is, I think, $60, um, which is roughly about 40, 50 dollars, 50 pounds here, plus the posting and packaging some of them can be exactly the same amount that you pay for the box for the same for postage just to come over here it's just stupid amount of money um I and mean, they are stunning boxes but i've got to say out of all the boxes i've seen um that are uk based i honestly can honestly say which casket one of the best i've seen and enjoy now i'm going to go because I realise there's been so much in this box that it's almost taken me 45 minutes to do this video. And I've tried to be quick. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you very much for watching my videos. Please um, click the bell notification. It will tell you when my next videos are coming up. Um, and also, please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Again, there is loads more to see, more unboxing. Um, there'll be more stuff about my witchy tools, my altar, more books that I have. I've got I've got another book video coming up shortly. So yeah, please, please um, subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Um, and obviously let me know in the box below. Um, if you've got any comments, let me know if there's something you want to see, something you're interested in, something I haven't covered um, about me. Ask me any questions. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, so from me, Mikey, it's uh, goodbye, you be you, and blessed be.